and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new die, Build a Cabin. This die is so much fun, so let's go ahead and check it out. This die has everything that you need to create an adorable log cabin. It of course has the cabin itself. Then it has this great roof line which you can do in the same color or in a contrasting color. It has a door frame and also some window frames. It has this cute little chimney with the little detail for the top. It has this little sign which you can hang with that little hanging piece right there. It also has this lamp which is so cute and the little lamp bulb that you can put inside the lamp and that heart which you can add the heart by itself or you can even hang it with the little hanger. So we're gonna start off by playing with the cabin and there is a little embossed score line there at the door so that you can open the little cabin door or not, depending on the type of card that you want to create. Then you can layer that wood frame over top and once again, you can use contrasting colors or the same color and they both look really, really great. Next up, we're going to add the roof line which just looks adorable and it has this great little stitching on it. And then we're gonna add those little window frames. And this log cabin is great cut out of cardstock. You could do cool ink blending on it, or you can even cut it out of our wood grain cardstock for a really beautiful texture. We're gonna add that layer to the top of the chimney, and then we're gonna layer the chimney behind the house. And then here you can see how you can layer that cute little sign with that little hanger, and you can hang that right above the door, and it is just the sweetest little thing. Here is that little lamp with the light bulb inside of it, and that looks really great above the door. It also looks cute above the windows as well. And then you can add that cute heart above that door, and that might be my favorite. It's just so sweet and adorable. This cabin is really fun, cut out of these traditional wood colors like the brown, but you can also have a lot of fun with it and do non-traditional colors. And so here is a look at the cabin we did in the intro to Would You Be Mine video. And in this case, we used some white wood grain cardstock and then added some details in brown and pink. And that is so fun too. Now, this cute little sign there, you could layer a little die cut art on it, which would be really sweet, but the other cool thing about it is that we sized it to fit some of the stamps in Would You Be Mine. So you can stamp the little Would You Be Mine or the Happy Valentine's Day or some of those other smaller phrases as well into that sign. You could also shop your stash of stamps and any of them that have those tiny little words may fit inside the sign as well. So here is a look at what that looks like when you stamp right in the sign, and that's a really cute way to add your sentiment to your card is to put it in the sign that's above the door of your log cabin. And here is a look at what it looks like stamped. Here is the Would You Be Mine? And then now here is a look at the Happy Valentine's Day. So you can see that you can do kind of different styles of sentiments in this little sign and it is just so super cute. So now that we have this adorable log cabin, we need to create a card for it. So we're gonna start off with some cilantro cardstock, and we're gonna be creating a cute little grass line here. And this is a simple grassy hillside border. And then we're gonna take out the brand new heart garden border, and we're gonna be die cutting some cilantro cardstock with this as well. Next, we're gonna add some inked detail to this colored cardstock. And one of my favorite color combos ever is clover ink on top of cilantro cardstock. It, it is just magical. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna ink right on top of the edges and you'll see that it creates this beautiful detail. Because those little heart garden flowers are really delicate, we're just lightly going over those. And then once you get to the grass part, you can add a little bit of a heavier hand as you ink your edges. And you'll see that it just adds a little bit of a detail onto the cardstock, making it feel really special but not too much. It also is really easy to do because you don't have to ink a whole panel since you're starting with a green color of cardstock. Now to add some more detail, we're going to be doing some splatters. So we're gonna ink up this little acrylic block, spray a little bit of water, and then we're gonna pick up that mixture of water and ink with a paintbrush, and then we're gonna tap it on the edge of the acrylic block to create splatters all over this grass. And that's gonna add some texture to this that's gonna be really, really pretty on the card. Our next step is to create a sky. So here we have a piece of cardstock that's a standard size five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're gonna be using the cloudy stencil. And the stencil is so cool because it has four different styles of clouds on each side. And so we're gonna take some minty fresh ink and we're going to ink that up and right onto the stencil and then right onto the paper. And you'll see that we have that beautiful cloud. 
Then we're going to move the stencil and turn it over to a different style of cloud. And then we're going to start with the ink on the stencil and then move on to the paper. We can move the stencil again and now you'll see that we have another beautiful cloud line. And I just love doing this. It looks so gorgeous. There is no right or wrong way to do these clouds. They always look amazing. You can use your stencil straight across or you could have the clouds come at an angle. You can have some parts that are darker and some parts that are lighter. It's all going to look absolutely incredible. And so we're going to work our way down the card continuing to kind of flip the stencil to each of the different sides, having different styles of clouds and creating this really, really awesome backdrop for our cabin in that grass that we worked on earlier. And here you can start to see how all of these pieces are going to look layered. The next thing that we need to do is add some detail behind the windows and the door so that we're not seeing the sky and the grass behind those. And so here we're going to take some yellow shimmer cardstock, just make some little tick marks with a pencil and just trim this piece down and we'll be able to layer that behind. And that shimmer is going to make you feel really special, almost like there's a little glow of some lights coming through the cabin windows and door. And you can layer that behind. It doesn't have to be cut nicely because no one's ever going to see that part. Now here is that super cute little wooden sign. We're going to add that to the top there of this cabin. And then we're going to be working with these cute little hearts in the heart garden border. So there's a larger heart and a smaller heart. And we're going to die cut those from some guava cardstock. Then we can add little drops of glue using the glue tube to the hearts and then layer those hearts right on top. And that's going to give us some heart shaped flowers that are so super cute. Then we can take our cabin and we can layer that right on top of the flowers. And you'll see that there's some flowers in the center there. We didn't add any hearts to knowing that the cabin was going to cover those up. And then we can take that grassy border of grass that we die cut earlier and layer that. And I love the mixture of the grass die cut with the heart garden border in the background. And then over that sky that we created earlier looks so beautiful. Now we are recreating a gorgeous card by Audrey and she had the best idea. She took these simple puffy cloud frames, die cut them out of some white cardstock and then layered them over that stencil background. And there is something about this that is so pretty and I think I'm gonna do this all the time. And I love these cloud frames because they add a little detail without taking up the whole card. They're just really awesome. So we're gonna trim off any of the excess hanging over the side of the card. And then we're going to take out our Would You Be Mine stamp set, which is a perfect match for this build a cabin die. And so we've got that cute little guy. We've got some cattails that are going to help set the scene. And we're going to start working on what this adorable scene is going to look like. So we're going to add some foam squares to the back of the beaver. And then we're going to layer him as if he's hanging out in front of his log cabin. And then we're going to add some of those cattails to the front too to just kind of help set the scene. Now this is our hearts and stars tag. And so what's so great about these hearts and stars is you have hearts and stars in three different sizes. And so we're going to die cut those from some guava cardstock as well. And now we're going to have a bunch of hearts that we can add to our cards. And I love that die because it is so great for just finding that perfect size heart to do things like add it in between the paws of this cute little critter. Then we're going to take one of those little hearts and we're going to add it into that sign. And then those other hearts are going to become kind of like the smoke coming out of the chimney. And I just think this is just so cute. It just makes it so sweet and adorable. So we're going to have our different sizes of hearts there, which are going to help us create this idea of kind of smoke floating up out of the chimney. Next, we're going to add a little detail towards the bottom. So we're going to take out the flower market six by six pad and we're going to use that pink stripe there and we're going to layer this piece of pattern paper right at the bottom there of that grass. Then we're going to take some guava cardstock, which is the same color that we've die cut all of the hearts with, and we're going to add a little strip. And I love that this is going to kind of balance the bottom of the card and bring in that pink to the bottom of the card too, which I think is just so super cute. Then the last thing that we need is a sentiment. And so we're going to be using one of the non Valentine's Day sentiments in the Would You Be Mine stamp set, which is Miss You a Log. So we're going to stamp that out in some black licorice ink. And then we're going to take a sentiment banner die and we're just going to line that up kind of with the edge of the sentiment there. And we're just going to end up trimming off that excess. So we've got this piece here. We're going to layer some foam squares behind it and then layer it onto the card. And then we can just trim off any of the extra with our scissors. Next, we're going to take out a white gel pen and add some details. And just a cute little curve line on these hearts makes them feel kind of three-dimensional and cartoony in such a fun way. And then to tie it all together, we're going to add some little lines to the log cabin too. And there's just something about white gel pen lines that just makes it feel so finished and so cute. 
And then to help tie the stamped images into all of those die cuts, we're going to tuck some more cattails behind that grass. And now this super cute card is all done. It's so sweet and it would definitely make someone's day. Now next up, Shari has a gorgeous card and she's going to show us how to use this adorable cabin on its own without a stamp set. So take it away, Shari. On my card today, I'm using the new Build a Cabin dies to create a nighttime scene. I've cut out my cabin from some paper bag cardstock so it's a little bit darker. I have some storm cloud cardstock for the roof. And I'll be using that storm cloud cardstock for the frame around the door and the window frames as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of these pieces to my cabin. I'll go ahead and add those little window frames. And I'm just using my tweezers to help keep my fingers nice and clean, I'm using some liquid glue to adhere those. And I like that this die cuts out both of the window frames at the same time. Then I also have that roof line and it has that really cute stitching detail, which I think is really fun. And then before I do my door, I'm going to make a red door and I wanted to give it a wood grain look. So I'm using the stitched wood grain backdrop and then I'm going to cut the door. So you can see how I have that wood door with that wood grain stitching on it and then I'm just going to cut the door off at the hinge and I'll just layer this over the brown piece so I have a red door. So you can see how that's going to fit perfectly since I used the die to cut it out. Before I hear the red part to the door, I am going to put the frame on first. So you can see there that I have folded it on the score line so that it hinges open on that left side. I'm going to place that door frame around my door and then I'll just layer the red on top of the brown. And we have this cute little red door with that stitch wood grain detail, which I just think is adorable. I've also cut the little light fixture that comes in this die set from that same red cardstock. And then I've cut the light bulb from some sunflower cardstock. So I'm just going to tuck that light bulb in. And I like using this yellow, it makes it look like it's glowing. And then I'm just going to put this right above the door, like it's going to shine down on that door. And I will be adding some clear glaze to that light bulb at the end so that it's shiny. Now I'm just doing a little bit of measuring so I know what to cut this piece of number two pencil cardstock so that I can layer it behind and I get a yellow piece of cardstock behind the door and the windows. I cut it at one and five eighths by two and a half. And that's going to cover up the door and the windows all in one piece. So I'll just put a little bit of liquid glue on the top, the bottom, and the sides so that it is nice and secure. And I just lined it up with the bottom of the cabin. So now you have this kind of dark yellow glow from the inside of the cabin that you would have at night. Now I did decide that I wanted to add a little bit of inking and I wish I had decided this before I adhered these pieces together. But once I adhered them, I just kind of wanted to define those cute little swirls that are the ends of the logs a little bit. So I'm just using gathered twigs distressing and I've got a piece of post-it note tape to help protect my roof there from getting the brown on it. Like I said, I would have done this first, but I didn't really decide that I wanted to do it until after I had the pieces assembled and I thought that it would just give that cabin a little bit more definition. So I'm just utilizing that piece of post-it note tape to protect the gray and I'm just blending the brown around. Now I've got some black soot distress ink and I'm adding a little bit of darkness just to the very top edge of the roof as well because as I said before this is a nighttime scene so I just wanted it to look a little bit different than the frames of the door and the windows. Now I have the chimney which I cut from fog cardstock which is a pale gray. The top of the chimney is cut from narwhal and then I'm just going in with some Copics and roughly kind of adding color to those bricks or those stones. So I'm just using two shades of gray 
kind of adding a little bit of shadow with this one and then I'll blend it out a little bit and that just kind of give it a little bit of texture showed those bricks kind of showing up a little bit more and then I'll just add some liquid glue to the bottom and tuck that behind and add it to my cabin so now my cabin is all finished and I can work on my background and this dark blue let it shine starry skies with the foil was perfect I think it looked so good as my nighttime sky behind my cabin so I'm just going to pull out one of those and die cut it with the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles so that I have a nice stitching detail around the sides and you can see how this is really going to look really cool as the background behind my cabin. Now to move on to the ground and I'm using a piece of cilantro cardstock. I've also cut that with that same outside in stitch rectangle. I have the word hugs cut from Henry's ABCs and right now I have it out of gold glitter but I actually am going to change this to black glitter when it gets right down to it because I just thought that looked better. But I'm using it for my spacing and then I'm going to pull out Smitty's ABCs and spell out the words sending cozy so that my sentiment says sending cozy hugs. I just thought that was a really cute sentiment to go with this cute little cozy cabin. So I'm going to take my die cut letters, which you can see that I have switched out to black glitter. I lined it up, made sure they're straight with my ruler, and I'm just using a piece of removable tape to pick those up. So you can see how I've got my spacing there. I'm actually going to move them down a little bit closer to the bottom so that I can squeeze this whole sentiment in there below my cabin. So I'm just leaving them in place for the moment so I can stamp the sending cozy right above. Make sure it's nice and centered. Looks great. And then I will pull my cabin back in and pull in one of the simple stitch hillsides to cut the top of the green piece of cardstock. So I've got all my pieces here so I can see just how high I need to cut the top of this hill. Got that in place. I will pull off the hugs letters so that I can run this through my die cut machine with just the hillside die. And then I am adding some Lucky Clover Distress Ink just to the top of this green cardstock just to give it some darkness since I said before this is a nighttime scene. But I just think that adding this little bit of inking to the top of a cilantro piece really adds some interest. Now I'm adding my starry panel to a card base. This is a cream colored card base, so a vanilla malt cardstock card base. And then I'm adding my hugs to the bottom of my grassy piece. And I've just still got them on this piece of tape. I'm adding some liquid glue to the back of each letter. And then I can pick the whole piece of tape up and adhere them down at once rather than doing each letter individually. Then I can carefully peel back this removable tape and that bottom part is finished. So I've added some foam tape to it and then I can just line it up with the bottom of my starry panel. And I just think that that sentiment is so cute with those big glittery letters. Now I'm adding some foam tape to the back of my cabin as well so that I can add this to the top of the hill in front of that starry sky. And now that I have my scene set, I'm coming in with that clear glaze at the end to add some shininess to that little light bulb in the light fixture. And then here is my finished build a cabin card. And I just think it turned out adorable. I love that starry sky in the background and that glittery sentiment. And I just think it is so fun. I am just in love with this sparkly and cute card, Shari, and I love the sentiment so much. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team, and this card by Megan is absolutely stunning. She added all her detail with markers, and it's beautiful. 
I just love how Grace cut the cabin out of white wood grain cardstock. It adds such a fun and bright detail to this log cabin. And then here Mindy shows us that this cabin is great for winter time too and the snowball fight stamp set is a perfect match for it. This is the card by Audrey that inspired us to make ours today. It is so super cute so thank you so much Audrey. And here this card by Elena is just stunning. I love the beautiful marker detail that she added to the cabin. Here Maureen brought us a purple cabin that's perfect for a winter card. I just love this color. It's so fun with the shaker in the background. And then this card by Kara is so sweet and she added bears to the log cabin which is a perfect match. Here's a cute and simple card using pattern paper in the Would You Be Mine Beavers for an adorable sweet card. And then this card here by Callie is just beautiful and she used our brand new wood grain hot foil on the cabin and it looks stunning. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with Build a Cabin so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.